so I won't be around much. But, um, yeah, I just want to make as much progress in this game as I can. I doubt I'll finish it today, unfortunately. Um, I really thought this game was short, because I, I saw it was supposed to take three hours, but as I said before, three hours is not realistic unless you're, like, just speeding through it. <laughs> you know, just playing it for fun. Um, okay, this is kind of weird. Is this the beginning of the day? Huh. Normally, when I save, it doesn't open to this kind of thing. Are you sure that would be okay? Yes! I mean, it would be really hard to pull off. See, I don't even know what they're talking about. Let me see. Maybe this is the beginning of the day and they're and we're supposed to be confused about what they're talking about? <laughs> That's kind of uh, disorienting. But it's something that'll make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully and gracefully. I know. Okay. Oh, what's up, dude? Hey, Gala. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? It looked like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Binks was just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my presence interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although, I need to interrupt Binks for a moment. Sure. How can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Hmm... You remember my remedy? Oh, here we go. We gotta figure it out. Okay, I think I know what I gotta do. Of course. Do you want to give it a try again? My last order didn't quite hit the spot. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> remember, it's tea and ginger. Yeah. But I'm... I think last time, what, did I add milk or something? I think this time I'm just going to only do tea and ginger. The last thing is definitely a different ingredient from either of those. Oh. Oh. Did I try tea, ginger, and... Well, I'll, I'll check my, um, my recipe book to see what I did. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. By the way, I was thinking about it because sometimes I randomly think about this game even though I'm not playing it at the moment. And I said to myself, wait a minute, why do they have something that just says tea and then they have green tea separately? So that to me we would mean that this is probably black tea or something? Like why didn't they identify what type of tea? So that's just strange to me. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> Okay, so it's tea and ginger. Uh, wait, where's ginger? No, it's here. Tea and ginger, and then let's see what we have from before. Uh, we made masala, green tea milk. What else we got? Milk, ginger, honey. Those are the coffees. Cough syrup. What else did I? I made green tea latte, tea, ginger, cinnamon. Okay, whatever I made him last time, it looks like it didn't help out. So I'm wondering tea, ginger, and lemon, maybe? I'm just trying to make sure. Uh, no, Poke Girl. I want to figure it out. Thank you for offering, though. I just, I really have fun doing that kind of stuff. You know, mixing things, creating new things. So, tea, lemon. Tea, 
sea ginger cinnamon. What do we have again? Mint, lemon, honey, cinnamon, and milk. I'm pretty sure it's not milk. Let's see. Coffee, ginger milk, coffee, 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 green tea. So it didn't keep whatever I made from before? I could have sworn last time I did a tea ginger and something else. I guess it didn't count. <laughs> I mean, I could always just mix it up until I, uh, I get it, because I could always throw it away. That's the good part. So let's see, and he said it was something different. Try it. Let's see. Let's see what it says. Because I don't have to serve it. Uh, ginger mint tea. No, I don't think that's it. Alright. We're going to go with tea. Ginger. Lemon. Let's see. lemon tea. I think that's what I gave him last time. And it didn't save in my um, inventory, so I guess people are probably not going to order it. Let's see. Tea, ginger, honey. I'm pretty sure the name will tell me when I get it right. <laughs> ginger honey tea. Ginger. I might have done this before, but I, I could have sworn he said it was a different thing, but you never know. No, just ginger tea. We'll get it, guys. Ginger. Let's see, we already did those. So, cinnamon. Like, in my mind, that sounds nasty as hell. <laughs> I'm wasting ingredients. Masala. Okay. I thought so. I still wouldn't. Um. Hmm. Or maybe... Can I mix green tea and tea? No? No. Let's see. So now it has to be... I mean, this is always going to be the base. Tea, tea, ginger? That's all I can think of. If I add two of the base. What? No! What the hell? It won't let me delete it? <gasps> Is there a time? I didn't know there was a limit to how many I could throw away. Oh, hell no. I ain't getting this wrong. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're going to do a, a reset because I'm not happy with that at all. That's bullcrap. <laughs> they should let you experiment as much as you want. Game, that's not nice. All right, hang on, guys. <laughs> I mean, I really did try every combination, so... Huh. Well, screw you, game. Oh, hold on, guys. <laughs> I can't believe it did that. Remember, don't tell me what it is. I don't want spoilers. Um, I'm upset that it did that. That's not right. They shouldn't do that. They really shouldn't. Yeah, you can't experiment. You have to get it within three tries. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I can't believe that. Okay, I appreciate that, Poke Girl. Wow, though, I really was trying everything. Okay. Alright, let's read through all this. That's weird. Alright, he's coming 
again. Hello, Gala. That, that's really funny to me, but also total BS. <laughs> Do this! I am determined! I do- I hope I have- I'm sure I have all the ingredients because I saw um, the shelf of full. Tea and ginger. It's not green tea, is it? I mean, he's just saying tea. Okay. Let's see. I gotta be careful because now I'm like... Mm? <laughs> Hmm. I mean, it's really annoying. I'm trying to think, because we really did try... Maybe ginger doesn't come second? Because if the order matters, then that will really screw up everything. Uh, are you going to stream Pipe Dream again? Simulacra? I finished that one. You're talking about the Simulacra 2, not Pipe Dream. Um, I don't know. I mean, there was some... We didn't get a good ending for that one. But I really didn't like that game enough to stream it again. At the same token, I'm curious if I would have liked it more if, if I knew what, what to do to get the right ending. But I guess I just didn't care for the characters enough. But then again, I'm like, oh, I spent money. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to stream it again. I don't want to waste time going back to a game I didn't really enjoy. Especially since for me to stream at all is difficult. <laughs> so, let's see. If we start with tea, and then I was always doing ginger, because that's what I know. But I'm thinking maybe ginger will be third. So let's just see... Concern, though. Actually, the only ingredient I didn't try was milk, right? If the, or if the order matters? I don't know. I thought I had tried milk. Maybe I didn't. So let's try. Remember sign. If I wanted the hint, I would ask for it. Oh! Galahad! <laughs> nice. So, I not, so the only ingredient I didn't get to try was milk because you saw what happened. The game didn't want me to keep trying. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Well, it looks like... Did she draw... Did a barista draw something? Because that looks like an actual drawing in there compared to normal. Anyway, I think this is it. Here you go. Judging from the smell, this looks like it. Indeed. Yay, we got it. But that was funny. I was going down the whole list of ingredients and then the game was like, nope, you're out of tries. <laughs> like, what the hell? Oh, all right. Well, we got it. Let's see. What's new? Nothing. Veteran now working in a hospital. Okay. And then I'm sure it just added the Galahad. Tea, milk, and ginger. Ginger chai latte. Good to calm yet warm your nerve. Alright. I have the same feeling. I've made a note of that mixture. Perfect. Anyway, please don't mind me and continue with your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gala. We're done for the night. You're done? I have a lot of new homework thanks to you. You're welcome. <laughs> Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. Darn it, I ship you and Hyde, but... I'm kind of confused because I thought they made it sound like one or both of them have a significant other already. Um, I think they, they said Hyde did. I don't know if it's a current significant other or someone from the past. So 
I still ship it though. <laughs> it's gonna be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Oh, come on. I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He might not like, might not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. Aww. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. That applies to you as well. Aw, come on. Alright, who's here? Oh, hello, Baileys. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Baileys. Hey, ya. How are you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Binks was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. <laughs> it's hard as a as a creator of any kind of, you know, art or writing or music to uh to get criticism. But being able to take constructive criticism is is a good skill to have. It's tough. But it's good. It's cruel. <laughs> It's necessary. <laughs> Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Imagine a choose-your-own-adventure storybook. Oh my god, Freya, you're like me. Here I am, creating my choose-your-own-adventure, which I did get to uh, write. I wrote the next episode. Uh, I started gathering the materials and um, creating the images, but I had I ran out of time before I could, you know, finish editing and putting it all together. That will probably have to wait another month or two because I can tell I'm going to be too busy. But it it will come in the near future. I am excited because we're finally going into the Ace Attorney section of the storyline. Now that we, um, based on your choices, we have, um, st are starting with player two. So it's exciting because if you like Ace Attorney, then you'll like this section much more than the previous section, which was more Danganronpa based. So I'm excited for that. But unfortunately, Ace Attorney characters are, um, a little more difficult to find good images of based on, you know, the Ace Attorney games being in the DS and their sprites are always moving and stuff so it's hard to get good pictures of them so it's been a little bit of a struggle but I think I managed to find the ones I needed so I'm all right now took a while of figuring things out <laughs> but I had to include gumshoe because gumshoe's awesome you know gumshoe's my man my buddy my pal <laughs> so I'm excited for us to have some gumshoes uh, my throat will probably be like why? <laughs> Why, Binks? Why? Why this voice? <laughs> oh gosh, that was horrible. I'm so rusty at Gumshoe. That's what happens when you're not playing uh, an Ace Attorney game in a while. I miss it. It's like, sometimes I get a little... I, get, I think my ADD kicks in when I'm playing games um, in an LP. That after a while, I'm like, uh, I'm ready for the next game. And that's how I was feeling with... Um, Ace Attorney Investigations 1, I was getting bored with it in the middle, towards the end. Especially that last case. Case 5 and Investigations 1 is super long and dragged out and frustrating. So I was so happy when it was over. But now I'm starting to miss it again. So hopefully I can finish Murder by Numbers as soon as possible, even though I like that game. Um, I do want to finish it as quickly as possible so I can move on to Ace Attorney Investigations 2, which I've never played. So I'm excited. Um, I know what happens in that game, but I've never played it. Gumshoe's amazing. Yes, he is. I miss him so much. Can Pharaoh help with Gumshoe? Oh, believe me, I, as much as I would love to have Pharaoh help me, I decided for this Choose Your Own Adventure series, I'm just going to do all the voice acting myself. Um, I'm not going to invite people to join or anything just because it's it'll be hard with the way my schedule is and other people's schedules and the quality of my audio and all that editing so I think it's just better for for everyone if I just piece that stuff together myself but oh 
Gosh, of course I would love Pharaoh's voice for Gumshoe. But for storyline purposes as well, I think it just makes more sense if I do everything. In that series, at least. Uh, let me stop uh, talking about Ace Attorney, though. <laughs> I should focus on this game. But yes, a choose-your-own-adventure storybook. But for adults. Sounds pretty common so far. But instead of telling you which page to turn to, each decision you make will give you a score. Okay, sounds like a almost like a video game. Hey Freya, you should make a video game. We know those other two characters know how to make games and stuff. That would be cool. What? That score will determine which page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I mean, it could be like a visual novel, you know? I like visual novels. That's kind of what this is. I know. It's not that original. But my target here is the mainstream audience. Huh. With the help of my publisher, this kind of book may go mainstream. Just like that choose your own adventure show on Netstream. Ah, <laughs> Netstream. Funny. Instead of Netflix. It was nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it reached the mainstream market. That sounds interesting. And highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other idea. Which is... Making the novel not in the form of a book. But in the form of story cards. Story cards? What? I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world. <laughs> And that's before even considering the sensitive issue of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I finished it, okay? Alright, alright. It's like for them, the concept sounds both racist and really ludicrous, probably. <laughs> Like, only humans exist. Ugh. How could you exclude the rest of us cool creatures? As Bink said, though, I won't have the time. Getting a normal pitch approved is already a steep climb. Let's not make the mountain even higher. Fair enough. What's the story all about, yeah, by the way? You'll have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun. If you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. I have before, I think? Should be ginger, milk, and something else. Uh, yes, coffee, ginger, milk. Makes sense. Coffee, ginger, milk. I'm trying to remember. I don't think he ordered this before. I think his girlfriend ordered this. I don't remember. It's been a while. Here you go. Thanks. Dumb, this is good. With this kind of drink-making skill, I wonder why your place isn't any bigger. What we have here now is more than enough for me. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, I guess. By the way, how are you doing, Baileys? Still busy with your latest, your last client? Oh, I'm done with her. Done? As in you're dropping the project? Uh, that was a weird laugh there for a second. <laughs> no, I'm done as in I killed her. <laughs> She's dead. Like, what was that? Hey, I'm not crazy. Are you sure? I still need the money. Done as in, I finished the job. I spent the past few days making sure it's even done before the deadline. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. 
She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her by using some design terms she doesn't understand. By the way, I don't remember if I gave him an accent or not. I'm starting to think maybe I didn't. But I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm like, whatever. Actually, yeah, because didn't I give um, Gala's boyfriend the accent? What did I do with Bailey's? Oh, I don't know. They both seem pompous and arrogant enough to deserve the Edgeworth voice, so... <laughs> uh. C'est la vie. Uh, okay. So you finished your job by bullshitting her. <laughs> the finest bullshit, my lady. Yeah, the accent's perfect for you, isn't it? That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. Are you working on anything right now? Who gets the Armstrong voice? Oh my god. I don't even remember how I voiced Armstrong. I remember when I was doing it the whole time I was like, Oh, I wish Pharaoh was here. Armstrong is something else, isn't he? <sighs> Always with no. <laughs> I just like mentally imagining him wiggling back and forth. Oh, so disturbing. I'm just a pity to tulip. <laughs> I don't I don't remember what voice I gave him. Oh, such a weird character. It was so funny whenever Pharaoh had to voice him. <laughs> Burning speed, welcome. How you doing? I think we're all doing well, just uh, hanging in there, right? That's all we can do. Power through. It's nice to see you, and it's really, really nice to just be able to play a game and have fun. You swear the most memorable scene was with that oil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those uh, aromatic Oreos. Gosh, that that game, the, <laughs> that case is something else. Freaking Diego, or not Diego? Uh, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember his name right now. I'm totally blanking. Uh, Tigre. <laughs> what did I say? Furio Tigre. Yeah. I don't know why I almost said good. I mean, Godot is the prosecutor, but that's not who I was thinking of. Are you working on anything right now? No. I'm taking a break from work. I need to work on a few personal matters. Oh. Oh, we know what that means. Like... You and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know. Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. So, there was a bit of a player back in college. <gasps> I'm so shocked! Actually, no. Because when I first saw him, I think I, I told you guys that I got like that vibe that he was like an arrogant jerk. <laughs> so I guess that look is still on his face sometimes, even though he's, he's alright. He's not a bad guy. It's just... He has that look to him. Oh, spicy. And I was going after my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Your then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. No, I understand. It took me a second, but I got it. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Is that really his name? Because if so, that would make sense, considering you are named after Bailey's. Which is that um, cream that they add in um, alcoholic beverages. And then his girlfriend is named Lua after Kalua, so cognac is an actual alcoholic beverage as well, so yeah. Cognac has a girlfriend. 
still following. And that girl has a friend. The friend is the one I'm after. <laughs> he actually had to spell it out for her. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. She was one of the hottest girls there. But everyone knew she wasn't she wasn't the type of girl you'd want to date. Why? It's I don't want to get into details. But this succubus was super hot. And all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player too. Huh? That doesn't sound like Lua at all. It, it's not. He didn't say he was after Lua. He's talking about somebody else, I'm sure. Because it wasn't Lua, genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. Oh. Oh. Well, your friend is an incubus. Oh, that makes sense. How did you end up with Lua then? Huh. Holy moly. This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was... Let's just call her Rose. Hmm. Rose? If it had an accent on it, I would have said Rosé, maybe. Because that's, a, that's a, a wine that's very popular these days. Which I've never tried, but I heard a lot of women like it, so maybe it's sweet or something. Continue. I knew Lua thanks to her relationship with Konya. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes. Now, will you let me continue without interruptions? Okay, okay. So, I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. Yes, that's true, Poker Girl. I've actually had the rosé grape juice. It's alright. I'm hoping that the actual rosé tastes a little better. I like the sparkling grape juice that I get sometimes, but so other times I'm like... I guess it's too sweet or sour. I don't know. It just throws me off. I used to like it a lot more when I was younger. I think I like the ones that are mixtures of other fruits. Like there's one that's like a peach with grape juice. And then there's one that's... Um, what was it? Not peach. It was apple. I think it was a apple and grape. And it was really good. She knew what I was after. It annoyed her so much. But I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty... active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Cognac back in college. I'd been out and I got back just as Lua arrived. A total coincidence. We went into our place together and witnessed something surprising. <gasps> Lua's boyfriend was cheating on her with Rose? Is that what you're saying? What? Cognac was sleeping with Rose. Yep. Oof. Well, then you know what, Baileys? It works out because Cognac was a jerk and he didn't deserve Lua. So, yeah. Holy mother of moly! I saw the look on Lua's face. The disbelief, anger, sadness. And without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. That's interesting, because normally, you know, a lot of guys would be like, Oh, that's my buddy. Uh, I don't care that he's a total jerk cheating on his girlfriend, so... He didn't follow the whole bros over hoes... Thing. So I like that. I, I give you props, Baileys. I I actually like that a lot. And I respect you more now. You what? I got into a fight with him. Oh, I haven't told you. Cognac was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for kids. Oh my god. So you got your ass beat for, for Lua? Aw, that's so nice, Baileys. That is really nice. No wonder she probably fell for you right away. <laughs> He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch. Too bad I'm not one punch man, huh? Yeah. <laughs> one punch would have been 
sufficient, for sure. And he beat me to a pulp. Easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. Heh, <laughs> more like she begged Cognac. Hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost, but I don't give up so easily. I was beaten pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. Ah. We grew closer after that. And I don't even remember the exact date. But suddenly that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. Aw, I ship it so hard now. And thanks to her, he stopped being a player and he really fell in love and... I want them together. They better have a happy ending. Or else, game. Or else. I'll be angry. <laughs> I know. Oh, he looks so sad. I really, really hope they get a happy ending. They're so cute. Have you seen her? By any chance? Oh, look at his face. That's a different look. He looks so sad. He lost all of that, like, normal, smug arrogance. Yeah. Lua came by a few days ago. How was she doing? Uh, let's see. Got a notification of a follow. Game Dev Surge, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Poker Girl, Danny, and Mina sent you here. Well, welcome. Marry him, Lua. He's a good man, right? I know it's going to be hard because of the whole um, different race thing with him being an elf and her being a, a succubus, but uh, he's a good man. It's so sad. I really hope they get together. They're really cute together. Uh, but I, if I were in her shoes, it would be hard because you'd have to get, say goodbye to your family because her family's not okay with it. So that's really sad. I really, really ship it though. <laughs> hey, Justin, welcome. How you doing, buddy? Appreciate all of you stopping by today. Hopefully this nice, relaxing music will help ease any concerns or stress you may have in your life. She hasn't returned any of my calls or texts. Well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was actually Hyde who kind of nicely, or not so nicely, told her off and pretty much said, you know, why are you expecting him to give up his family for you and you're not willing to do the same? He called her out. It was harsh, but true. Forget her family then. He got his butt whooped for her and would do anything for her. She deserves him and he deserves her. Ah, real life is not that simple, but of course we, we really want them together. Okay, just tired. Yeah, I feel you, Justin. I am tired. Not as tired as I will be the next two weeks working overtime, but I'm tired. <laughs> With whom? There was this male model. A model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. He's probably gay. I kind of ship him with the guy sitting next to me. <laughs> I wish she would say that. Oh, that'd be funny. What were they arguing about? I thought Francisca only gave Adrian a whip. <laughs> well, let's just say I snuck into Francisca's closet and stole the whip. <laughs> or maybe she has multiple? I don't know. I would think she would, right? Everyone quick, find pictures of hot anime guys to help power up Binks. Ah, uh, if only, if only. 
I don't know. Sometimes I, I notice what happens when I'm on my way to or from work. Sometimes just listening to certain music will help me get a little more energetic. And then other times you'll be on the bus like I was yesterday and, and there's just too much noise and, and it's just not working. So I'm like, ah, oh, if only I had something to power up my energy level. Like, uh, what, what is it that they take in DBZ? Sen sensu beans? Ah, oh, it's been so long since I watched that, I forgot what it's called. But they always used to pop those beans like they were magic healing pills or something, you know? <laughs> uh, what were they arguing about? Well, we were talking about your relationship. Lua told us about the reason behind the fight. About your family stuff. And then this guy, Hyde, joined the discussion. What did he say? He didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval. Considering... you know... What? You're willing to leave your own family. You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Well, some people don't have close blood relations, you know? Just because you're related by blood doesn't mean you're super close, and I can totally understand that. Let me tell you about my family. Oh, don't tell me. It's your father, Von Karma, because that would totally make sense. <laughs> Uh, I'm right. It's called Sensu Beans. Okay. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad I was right. I used to be a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, you guys. I grew up watching it. Piccolo says, Krillin, Sensu Bean. Krillin says, Sensu Bean! <laughs> I can't do their voices, but yeah. Ugh. But I had the hugest, biggest... Cr I think, honestly, I sometimes I've been trying to pinpoint where it all began. And, and I'm not sure if it was DBZ. My first crush on an anime character might have been Trunks. Because he was so cool and, and my friend uh, used to draw like pictures of him for me. And then when I met Eric Vale in real, in real life, um, he's the voice actor for Trunks. When I met him in real life, I almost died. <laughs> it actually happened when I went to Texas to meet Danny. Uh, and we were at the Fan Expo. And, uh, yeah. And now Danny works with Eric Vale, and I'm like, what the hell? How does this happen? <laughs> She's so lucky, that's so cool. But then again, I think I would die if I had to work with Eric Vale. You know? Like, I, I, uh, I, I think I'd be too busy fangirling over him. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's so many amazing voice actors, but something about him. I think him and Yuri Lowenthal, those are the two that I get I, I get weak over. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal, what I grew up listening to him was when he did Ben 10, which I was a huge fan of Ben 10. Uh, until, I don't know, they did so many versions of it years later that were kind of weird, so I stopped watching. Uh, okay, Poker Girl says, Blood relation doesn't always mean your family. For some people, it just means you're related strangers. If you ask me, it's bonds that make a family, not blood ties. Yes, very, very true. Have you watched the TFS series? I have. Not all of it, just a little. Very funny. I like it a lot. Uh, Eric Vale also voices Phoenix, right? Yes, he does. He does a lot of stuff that I enjoy. He also does Sanji in One Piece, and and I I love One Piece so much. I've watched it in sub and dub. I could I could watch One Piece forever. <laughs> Please don't end One Piece. No, it has to end eventually. I know people don't want to get into it because it's so long, but it's so good. You guys don't understand. I mean, I'm I'm really behind, but I will say the first few hundred episodes were probably the best uh, up until a certain point then I was like eh, the quality dropped a little but maybe it's improved lately because I've been seeing um, other people I know who are watching One Piece they they said it's getting really cool right now I'm like oh, I gotta get back into it eventually you're so glad Danny reprised her Dahlia and Iris roles yes Yes. I was so shocked and so happy for her when 
when she got those roles. I mean, that's amazing to go from just doing it in like let's plays just for fun to actually doing it. It's like that's amazing. Devil Woman, yes. I, I still love when Pharaoh <laughs> first reacted to her as a devil woman. <laughs> Seriously, autocorrect? Yeah, autocorrect gets me too, all the time. <laughs> De demon, demon woman. Yes. Oh, you meant to say demon woman, okay. <laughs> well, she's that too. Or I should say, most elven families. They all think they're so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. We must never ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. Mm -hmm. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs that are deemed worthy and successful. Like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. That sounds a lot like... Uh, I mean, there's some there's some people in, in our world, in the real world, who, who have that mentality, right? The same exact mentality that he's describing. Sad. You know... Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something elves would deem suitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci. So, when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy, screamed like they were on fire. Ooh. They told me that I'd never be rich or successful. All that because you chose an art degree? You want to know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. Yelled about how her kind is ruining the country. Oh gosh, this is too real. No, I just wanted to play a relaxing game. Why does it always bring up real issues and feelings? <laughs> you can't escape, can you? <laughs> Autocorrect hates humans. I, I think so. Is that called classism or something else? I think it's classism. I think it's racism. I think it's a lot of things. Elitism, maybe, if you want to say that. It's all enveloped in one ugly spiral. All down, down, down to the rabbit hole. Accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Oh, there we go. Of course, religion would be brought up into it. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Well, I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. That's so not cool. I don't want to sound judgmental, but your family is racist. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Aw. Lua is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't understand why Lua is so obsessed with the idea of reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. Aww. I have no problem leaving my family, you know. I would happily leave them for the both of us. What about her? Ah, I was wondering if Gala would say something. What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave your family. However, it may not be the same for her. That is the problem. Uh, if only her family would be okay with it, that would make it better, because they could just embrace Bailey's into their family, and then he wouldn't feel like he lost something. He'd feel like he gained something, you know? Oh, I hope that's what happens. Please! Please! I want them together! Oh! Uh. <laughs> 
I'm so emotional over this. No, <laughs> I didn't sign up for emotions, please. <laughs> I want to be numb. <laughs> Uh, Poker Girl says, apparently some people are stuck in the 1600s. Yes, unfortunately. Oi. Gallant, you have something to say? Perhaps you could give us a different perspective? Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assumed that the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yes, she's a succubus. I see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We'll put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack. But we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that's also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? I... I never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a difficult spot. Yeah, because if it doesn't work out, which would be horrible, then she'll feel guilty that you lost your family for something that didn't work out in the end. Ugh, oh, I'm getting all emotional. No, stop. Why is it getting to me today? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a game, Binks. It's just a game. Uh, you like Neko Atsume? Never heard of it. Is it a game or an anime? I'm not sure. I'm always willing to check out something new. She might feel responsible for your actions. There's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. One day, one of you might regret your decisions. Uh-oh, he's looking away. Either because he's thinking about it, or because he doesn't want to hear the truth. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, those two reasons that people would turn and actually look away during a conversation. <laughs> One day, you might use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. That's true, bro. Very true. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work. Because life, life is full of storms. In marriage, you will not survive on love alone. Your PFP is a picture of a cat wearing your clothes in the art style of Neko Atsume. It's a cat collecting game. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. My friend Inferno drew that image of me. Um, one day she just decided to make cute little Neko versions of... I think she did me, um, Mina, Danny, herself. Like, she did a whole bunch of us in that style. And I just liked it and I kept it. So I think she just did it just to do it. I'm not sure if she watches that or knows about it. But a cat collecting game, huh? That's cute. Anything with kitties I like. Whoa, that's deep. We'll have each other. And that's enough for us. Tell me. Do you have health insurance? Ooh! Gala, no! Why are we going down this deep, deep, heavy road, man? <laughs> oh no, he's he's gonna put Bailey's through uh, the ringer here. <laughs> what? 
I'm an elf. Why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? Mortality is an elven privilege. But you'll lose it if your family disowns you. Really? Oh, so his immortality is not something he automatically keeps, huh? Holy crap. <laughs> that really sucks. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured. Emptied their entire life savings for an $8 pill because in this country they charge $20,000 for it. Oh no! Why are we talking about this? Reality, no! It's so true! Minus the whole immortality elven thing. <laughs> And if you decide to have children, they won't have the same privileges you do. There's a high probability that they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a heavy thing to discuss, Baileys. You really do need to think about it. Oh, man. Uh, I don't want to get into these serious topics right now, man. I live this every day. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go. I apologize for my intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. Well, at least Bailey's is not being a jerk about it. He's listening. I've got to go, too. Want to head out together? Sure. Thanks for the drink, Binks. And Freya. Bye. Oof, this was a heavy, heavy discussion day. America's moving mad with their healthcare. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's something I would talk about on stream that I've been dealing with at work that's really stressful. But I don't want to bring down the mood any lower than it already is, so I'm not going to. It's not worth it. Let's just say it's a hot mess at my job right now. What? You made me lose two customers in a minute. Hey, that wasn't on me. They were leaving anyway. Are you going to write that in your book? It's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world with only humans around? Oh, you'd be surprised. With only humans around, we still get the same BS. I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. Alright, that was one day. Whew, that was heavy, y'all. That was, oof, a lot. Let me take a sip of water. <clears throat> Alright, Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. W-H-O, who? I wonder if that uh, represents World Health Organization in this game, like it does in real life. Um, but who vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury Sedative illegally? I mean, yeah, it looks like who stands for the same thing. Interesting. Uh, Couchella 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. Sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. Uh oh. Doggy's barking. My favorite other couple. <laughs> Actually, there's like three couples that I am shipping in this game. Um, I think the other two was from last time. The, the cute um, 
nerdy fish girl and the orc lady. Let's see. Baileys. Uh, anything different? Punk, pumpkin spice. Let's see. Escaping bloodlines, experiencing life one color at a time. One day I will have my own solo exhibition. He never really ch Oh, man. I have the British accent twice in a row. <laughs> uh, uh, can I differentiate it somehow? Let's see. He never really changed. I know. But it was surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, Binks. I'd like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? Yes. I think the last one was the remedy. But there is no harm in checking some other combinations. Alright. You know what to do. Wait. I'm confused. He said experiment, but then he said other combinations? Do you want Galahad or not? <laughs> uh, I'm kind of confused. I feel like I should just give him the same thing again. Not really sure. I I'll just give it them again just in case. Maybe he was just saying that in case I didn't get it right the first time. Milk and ginger. Alright. Try this. Yeah, I, I think they're doing it just in case I didn't get it. You would order the cough syrup? Yeah, um, I was surprised they called it cough syrup. But I guess, yeah, it would work for if you have like a sore throat or something. I'm sure it would taste nice. I'm more of um let's see. Which one would I I'm not a ginger fan, so I'd probably get something with cinnamon or just like a coffee drink. Ooh, okay. Thought I was gonna sneeze, but mm, is it happening or not? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Okay. Tomo Chill has updated. Oh, I filled in more. Favorite things. Anything warm and made with ginger. Music metal maiden. Full metal jarhead. Trying to heal myself by helping other people heal. Aww. He's a big softie. I like him a lot. Okay, try this. Thank you. Just what I needed. Okay, that's good. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. I couldn't help overhearing you both. Sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened, exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could just picture that. With this attitude that Hyde has sometimes. I'm sure he probably just said the wrong thing at the wrong time. <laughs> Ugh, those, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire, it doesn't mean I know Kung Fu. Besides, I'd had a couple of drinks. I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You were trash, Tide. 
You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. <laughs> like, well, you know, to a blanket. Obviously, he was too drunk to drive. So, I hailed a cab. Turns out he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who are they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything. But it's possible they may have had ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. Ah, yeah. Okay. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck. The universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After all the trouble you caused me the night before... Hey, I took you to breakfast. <laughs> Hey, if you feed me food, that might make my impression of you get get a little better, you know? Food is like a good way of bonding. <laughs> it's also a good way of bribing someone, right? Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? War veterans. Ah, I see. So, how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed. Hide. I'd prefer it if we skipped that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's alright. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with... something. Let's just say... Something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Oh, I was trying to figure out what that was, Poker Girl. So that's my um, emote with something over it. <laughs> is that like a. What is that? I'm practically blind. I can't tell. Is that an X or a hat? Something red? Oh, a bandana. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, that's interesting. It's it's interesting how, you know, Twitch has changed a lot of their stuff that they that they let you like alter emotes and stuff. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. So this one... Is that like me squished flat or something? <laughs> and what's this one? Is this one just like flipped backwards? Like reversed? And one with like a pointing hand or finger? And sunglasses? That's funny. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. It's 
so you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, Binks, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? Warm and cool? Let's see, let's see. I think this is something new. Um, I'm gonna say... Milk. Milk cools it down. So tea and milk. Uh, what else we got? Tea and milk. Green tea latte, maybe? No, because he said tea first. Okay, so then this, this will be something new. Tea, milk, and honey, maybe? Let's just see what I, else I have. I'm not sure what his favorite flavor would be. Maybe cinnamon? This is kind of fun because then I'm like trying to figure out what I would have or try. Um. Tea, milk, gin, lemon maybe? Or honey? Let's try honey. Maybe it's not cool enough. Warm and cool at the same time. Let's uh... Oh I see it now. It says times five. So you do have a limit of five times to trash something. Okay. I never noticed that before. Let's see. Tea. Milk. Anything that makes it cooler? Mint? Let's try that. Milk mint tea. Maybe he'll like that? Oh, I'm worried because I. F it does seem pretty cool. What if he hates it? <laughs> well, let's try it. Here's your order. Oh, okay. Yay, exactly. Okay. Exactly what I wanted. That would taste so funky to me. Tea, mint, and milk. Oof. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of mint. So that's probably why I'm like, mm. By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. Oh, uh, you mean the fact Freya's not there for once? It's, it is kind of weird, right? Yeah, I haven't seen her today. Is that her? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. And one vampire. <laughs> I just see her and Hyde is like always bickering and stuff. That's really cute. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Freya. Is it weird? Like, I kind of. I see this as almost like my, my favorite foursome. Like, these two. Our couple, and then I ship Freya and Barista. So I'm like, yeah, they're the two best friends gonna hang out. You know, two uh, best friend couples gonna hang out and go on double dates and stuff. That's really cute. I ship it. <laughs> By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. 
I've no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. If you're not Gala, then you're nothing. <laughs> yes, that's your standards, right, Hyde? Yes, has to be your standards. You. You look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Right. I showed Binks my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff, and I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please, don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospital, how's your hospital admitting life going? It's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about. But mostly, I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Yeah, I, I get you, man. It's a role similar to me, but it kind of looks like you're wearing scrubs under your blazer. Which makes me go, hmm, I don't get to wear scrubs for my job. I wish I could, because I like scrubs. I think they're awesome. I want to wear scrubs. I think that was one of my main reasons I was considering being a nurse, because I wanted to wear scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm strange that way. But you know, sometimes they get to wear like really cute ones, you know, different patterns and stuff, and the colors are really bright and colorful and pretty. I love scrubs. Of course, initially I was like, am I attracted to people in scrubs or do I just want to wear them myself? Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. Ah, accounting. Boo. <laughs> I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have, we have people who do that at the hospital. Kind of like biz dev for people's lives, then? You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. Yeah. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Yeah, it's hard to tell a family that they can't afford a, a surgery that their family member needs, you know? Ugh. Ugh. Why, game? Why are you always hitting me in the fields? Hey, Seth! How you doing, buddy? Long time no see! What's new with you? Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point doing all right at the moment that's great man i'm glad to hear that it's all we can do these days right just hang in there and <laughs> do all right why do people rarely talk about your kind of job i guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it yeah I think when it comes to hospitals, there's so many behind-the-scenes jobs that people don't know exist. <laughs> like, a lot of us. And we were all essential right now, you know? Most of us, at least. The ones who weren't, a lot of them are uh, still working from home, or they're, like, rotating. So they have shifts that some of them are on site some days, while others are working from home. Actually, the thing that kind of has been annoying at work has been the um, the business office, which deals with the billing and all of that. They have been closed, so they have been working from home. And so many times we have patients coming up to where I work at the window, 
and they're asking about, well, where can I get my billing statements or where do I pay bills? And I have to keep telling them, I'm sorry, the business office is closed. Their office is right around the corner and you have to just call the number that's on the door. But of course, you know, those they're on hold for like forever waiting just to talk to someone, you know, because everybody's calling the same numbers. So it's tough. I don't know why they won't reopen at this point because most of the other hospital departments were all still up and running and most of us are back on site. So I'm just kind of wondering when or if they'll ever come back on site. I wish there was something like a community fund for things like surgeries that people can donate to to help lower income families pay for them. You know, I think... I think there's certain things that exist, like, um, like, yeah, I think there are foundations and stuff that do help with that kind of thing, but they're very rare and it's not like they apply for everybody. I think a lot of them are going to specialized areas like, um, children, children with cancer. Like I'm pretty sure, um, there's, there's several charities that help for that kind of thing. Isn't that what insurance is supposed to be? Yeah, insurance is... It's a tough, tough thing to deal with. Not everybody has it, and not all insurances cover the same things. It sucks. <laughs> America, right? And now they have that whole GoFundMe for almost anything and everything, right? There's GoFundMes for everything. Um... But it's always a risk to know what is real, what is reputable, how much of that money is going to go into the person's um, whatever they're, they're needing. Very difficult. Exactly. It's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives, anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. <laughs> yeah, you might want to be careful whatever you tell Freya, because she's going to write it down in her story. You... He needs to be a bit less loyal, though. Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa, I didn't know that. Wait, 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy! Ask for a promotion, man! You know, you'd be surprised. There's some people who, despite how difficult their job is, and being in the same role for a long time they don't want to uh they don't want to move up the, the ladder like my co-worker dorothy she's been working in my role for 15 years and she's tired <laughs> she's she's tired now but she enjoys it and she i i i asked her yesterday when we were going through a lot of crap at work i'm like how did you do it for so long and she said you know i used to enjoy it a lot and i liked helping people and feeling like i was making a difference but now i'm not so sure <laughs> uh but she's planning to retire this year um i think in october because then she'll be officially at her 15 year mark and she's she should be old enough to retire already so i'm gonna be sad when she leaves um if i'm still there i'm hoping to not be there but um yeah, it's gonna be sad because she's she's really great. She has uh, a good way of dealing with people. I think a lot of them are very respectful of her, but there are a few who don't care that she's an older woman, and they'll still talk down to her. And I'll I'll get mad because you know don't talk bad to my Dorothy. <laughs> How old is he supposed to be? Uh, he's a werewolf, so um, I know he's he mentioned he met Hyde in the sixties. I, I think he's definitely in the hundreds, probably. <laughs> he looks good, though, right? Him and Hyde, the guy next to him, who's a vampire. So, their relationship is going strong after all these years. 
Oh yeah, I think I think he's probably gonna say something like he doesn't wanna get a promotion because then a lot of times when you get a promotion you become like a manager or something, you know? And being a manager is not always fun. <laughs> like if I wanted to, I could apply for a manager position. But I really don't know if I want that. That means uh, more stress in my life. Even though it would be nice to get the more money. <laughs> You thought he was 35? I mean, looking at them, they look like they're in their 30s, right? Late 20s, early 30s. Um, but they're hundreds of years old. They keep offering me new positions. Mostly managerial. Yep. Take it! Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. That's true. Like, the longer you work there, you, you know, you get more raises and all of that throughout the, the years. So, Dorothy is probably making much more than I am <laughs> doing the same work just because she's been there so long but she she earned it right she did her time so she deserves it I really can't figure you out that's gonna for you anyway my shift's starting soon it was nice catching up with both of you are you going to stay Hyde yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, Binks. And you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. You think he looks like he's in his 40s? Yeah, potentially. Imagine the amount of raises he's got by now, working for 50 years, right? You know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So, how did you guys meet? Seriously, I have to retell the story. Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Huh. <sighs> Alright then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. Yay, they spared us. <laughs> Whoa! I never knew Gala used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still, though, why did he make the jump from... How should I say this? A very physical job to medic. Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Freya, it's none of our business. Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Freya! I know you're a writer, but come on, girl, that's rude. Seriously, Freya. Come on. I won't get into details. But, going to war, it messes with your head. Oh. Freya, you should have realized it was something like that. Come on. That's really nosy. You see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult. Especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle. Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's got he's good at being a bodyguard. 
and we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. I needed his strength. But then I got to be interested in him. Oh yeah, you sure did, didn't you, huh? Didn't you? <laughs> ah, when will it happen? When? Interested? Ah, see? Freya picked up on it too. Yes, come on Freya, we gonna ship it. We gonna ship it together. <laughs> see? <laughs> you didn't say it. Oh! <laughs> Doing that annoying anime laugh. <laughs> I think he's a cool person. That's all. Uh-huh. Sure. And after a few months, I noticed his... problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone. Seek help. Which he refused. No surprises there. But I... kind of pushed him to do it. How? It's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I've no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me. And not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... Huh? Oh no! <laughs> oh, that was very abrupt. Oh, it's our little space friend. What's up, yo? What's up? Been a while since we've seen you. Good evening, everyone. Who, boy? Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, Barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. It's Scout, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, achievement unlocked. We are all friends. Cool. On Earth, please call us Neil. Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication. We do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems the name Neo has a lot of associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. I get it, Neil Armstrong. Yes, yes, it makes perfect sense. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. That's true, Freya didn't get to talk to him, otherwise she would have been all over him, asking for information. Alright, anything new in Hyde's profile? The fact I've been blood sober for ten years now. Okay, nothing else that interesting. Oh wait, no, I didn't see that. We probably have Neil now. Yes. <laughs> okay. What I'm wondering... Yeah, the new girl was Aqua. So when they have three... Yeah, when they have three, that means we're fully, like, unlocked in their profile that we can see everything, I think. So, Myrtle, Rachel... We still got a ways to go with uh, a few of them. So we're fully friends with a lot of them already. So we got probably one more visit from Myrtle, two more from Rachel. I assume two more after this one with Neil, and then two more with Andrew. Alrighty. So hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir. Hide. You come here often. For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Ooh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. 
By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more. More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. What are you doing here in Seattle? And do all your kind dress like this? Oh, this. We chose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Aramie Gendru album cover. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yes. So... anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if... I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. Oh no, we have to figure this one out too, huh? Well, actually, that's kind of fun. But we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Oh no. <laughs> First of all, let's save because now I know I have a five times limit and I don't want to have to close the game every time I want to try it. Please surprise us. Okay, okay, okay. Let's think. Uh, anything. Make you feel. What if we made it like super spicy and hot? Like, uh, coffee. Made it super spicy bitter. Uh, ginger. And ginger? Maybe? I don't, I don't know. I can feel ginger and coffee, or maybe tea. It's definitely interesting. Let's brew and see what it's... <laughs> Ginger coffee. I mean, it's really warm and bitter, so I'm wondering if that's the thing we're going for, is something strong flavor? Or is there something else? You know what? I'm not gonna worry about it. There's probably, like, a specific drink that, like, if you do it, you could get an achievement. I'm not gonna worry about that just because, you know, it's my first playthrough. I'm blind. Um, I'm just gonna go by my gut and try to get him something strong flavor. <laughs> so, here you go. It's probably really horrible tasting. <laughs> a cup of anything is ready for you. Imagine if the barista uh, put in some alcohol. Yeah, that'd be funny. Thank you. What the? Interesting. Oh, that's their first time seeing the whole finger thing. <laughs> finger mouth. What are you doing? Drinking. That's how they drink. Woo boy. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? No, if whatever the drink is that he's looking for, he definitely would have reacted, I'm sure. So it's not the strong taste. Maybe it's something specific to his personality, but I don't know enough yet, so we'll see. Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. 
What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. <laughs> yeah, I remember. You really are here to find a date. All the way from a galaxy far, far away. Wow. It turns out pervs exist everywhere in the universe. <laughs> oh. Feeling attacked, old man. Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. But we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, such a cinnamon roll. You really do remind me of Scout. <laughs> oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. Huh. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. Could you handle them, though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further, if it got you a good story. Oh my. <laughs> oh, you're not offended by that? Yeah, I think her and Hyde are interesting as a friend. Friend pair, you know? They, like, insult each other, but they get each other at the same time. Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I'd go on a date with them, but I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather... Does it mean you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about, like Banks the barista. <laughs> yes! I ship it. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. <laughs> this is... This is very strange. According to what we found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Then why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm. Because <laughs> not everybody believes in commitment. Hmm. Now that you mention it. We don't have enough control of ourselves. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention, some races live for a very, very long time. So, even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least that was what we gathered from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, she's laughing. First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time you start by dating. Boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? 
you could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? Now, the path to starting to date varies between people. But usually, it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow, the breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, Making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms. It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. <laughs> He's like, I came to the wrong planet, y'all. <laughs> yes, you did, buddy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? Pleasure. He's like, what is that? <laughs> oh, Lord. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So, we talked about using condoms. But how do your kind have sex? Like, seeing how you drink. A condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm, yes. Let's look down there. What you got down there, bro? <laughs> what you packing? That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that. But we cannot tell you the details. You have to watch hentai for that. <laughs> yes, all those hentai we watch, you're, you're in all of them, aren't you, Neil? Yes, I am the tentacles in all the hentai. <laughs> oh, that would be freaking funny. Unless we agree to do the mating ritual. Curiosity will never, ever end in this case. <laughs> I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. Especially the mental part. We did our research. And we tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. A testing object, you say? Hmm. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway... Thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How will you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care in your way, sir. <laughs> He's always interesting to have around. <laughs> I think they're dying to laugh because that was so crazy. <laughs> that was really something. Indeed. He said the first time they came here was for a date, right? Yeah, but their date never came. And then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer orc? Wow, I tried to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such naivete. I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? Sorry guys, my mom's knocking. I'll be right back. I'm trying to finish this day so I can end the stream. Uh, hopefully soon.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm not done with the stream yet, guys. <laughs> Just trying to finish this day in the in the game. Uh, you mean you mean Miss Loa? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Freya was being pretty nosy, to the point that Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. <laughs> It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation, unless it really piques his interest, or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to see you tomorrow. So, I'm off for the day. Oh? You're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. I wonder if he'll be back before this game ends, because I think we only have a few more days left, right? Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the shop. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Alright then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. Alright, we reached the end of the day. Okay, this one is ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup. Jahi Tobruk? Tobruk? Brook? I don't know. Uh, Indonesia. So I have plenty of drinks that I have yet to create. Wednesday, September 30th, 2020. Alright, let's save after we read this. Dorvin made cars face challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth organization fights to save more forests. Protests arise over government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Ooh boy. Save. Yeah, I'm fine with us saving before we even see who's there. <laughs> okay, guys, that will be it for today's stream. Thank you so much for coming out. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know when the next time will be, unfortunately, with my new work schedule. Ugh, I have to work from 6.30 to 5, so it's gonna suck. <laughs> but anyway, thanks again, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye!